We know more tonight about the murder of a mother and her infant son. There's a plan to bring more business into the north end of Scranton. I'm April LaMonica, and I'll have that story coming up. Plus, see how a building can be used even after it's torn down. Next on Newswatch 16 at 11. Night Court is a Warner Brothers television production and is distributed by Warner Brothers Domestic Television Distribution. Cub Cadet Series 2000 tractors have the competition a little jittery. After all, they're shaft drive in all seven models. And while the other guys went to great lengths to keep their prices down, Cub Cadet developed over 50 new innovative features and engineered them all into a tractor line that's priced surprisingly close to the brand that just runs. Available at Robichak Lawn and Garden and Stout's Mower Service. Meet Dr. Anna Marie Kwaschak, MD. She's a doctor, she's a reporter, and she's from right here in our area. Hi, I'm Dr. Anna Marie Kwaschak, and I'm News Watch 16's new Health Watch reporter. As a physician, I understand today's health care issues, and as a reporter, I'll bring you the information you need to know. Get your health news from the expert. The doctor is in. Dr. Anna Marie Kwaschak, News Watch 16's Health Watch reporter, and she's only on WNEP TV, the news station. Nothing adds beauty and value to a home like tile. And at Tile Distributors of America, overlooking the Wyoming Valley Mall, you're invited to choose from the greatest names in American and imported ceramic tile in our award-winning showroom. Our consultants will help you personalize your kitchen, bath, or other rooms with custom hand-painted tiles. Let the experts help you add beauty and value to your home. Come into Tile Distributors of America, 300 Monday Street, overlooking the Wyoming Valley Mall, Wilkes-Barre. Know exactly when a storm will hit your community. Turn to Storm Tracker 16 on WNEP TV. You're watching WNEP TV 16. We're proud to serve all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. Now, live from the news station, this is News Watch 16. WNEP proudly presents the News Watch 16 team, the number one source of news and information in Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. This is News Watch 16 at 11. The deaths of this mother and her infant son are now definitely being called murders. The case is our top story tonight on News Watch 16 at 11. Good evening, I'm Nolan Johannes. And I'm Marisa Burke. Autopsy results confirm tonight that 26-year-old Joanne Katrinak of Catasauqua and her four-month-old son Alex were murdered. Joanne Katrinak had been shot in the head. She had also been beaten around the head. An autopsy showed that four-month-old Alex Kratrinek was also murdered. Their bodies were found yesterday in some woods in Heidelberg Township that's about a half hour away from their home in Catasauqua. The mother and son had been missing for four months. It's eerie. It's definitely eerie. Uh, it's a little too close to home. You know, we live up here in the, in the country and then something like this happens. Police are still investigating the murders in Lehigh County. They are not saying whether they have any suspects. Two Columbia County men have reportedly confessed to a highway shooting. Police tell us that Michael Reed Jr. admits shooting at a van on Friday along Route 118 in Columbia County. Reed's friend, Christian Heaps, admits holding the steering wheel so Reed could fire the gun. The driver of the van, Daniel DeRosa of Unityville, was shot in the back of the head. He's recovering at Geisinger Medical Center in Danville. Today, DeRosa talked exclusively with Newswatch 16 about what happened. Somebody up above has been looking over my shoulder. He was probably with me at the time, so I'm just really grateful. First went in and hit the skull and bounced off the skull. Because of the shooting, DeRosa cannot use his right arm or hand at the moment. Police in Columbia County tell us the two suspects shot DeRosa because they thought he was harassing them on the highway. A pharmacist in Luzerne County must pay $6,500 in fines after pleading guilty to fraud. 49-year-old George Coffer of Kingston will also spend two years on probation. Coffer used to own Weber Drugs on Kidder Street in Wilkesbury Township. He admits 
billing Medicaid for brand name drugs while giving patients the cheaper generic drugs. Nolan? Some store owners in Scranton are trying to breathe new life into an old business district. Newswatch 16's April of Aronica, or Monica tells us what ideas they have in mind. Bill Kobernich wants to double his deliveries and bring more customers into this sub shop in North Scranton. He feels the city could help by sprucing up Providence Square. That's an area that includes businesses on North Main Avenue and West Market Street. Maybe up at the square, it'd be nice if they had some trees or flowers or something like that, just to make it nicer going in, because everything goes in and out of that corner up there, you know. So. The owner of Buckingham Oriental Rugs on North Main Avenue feels the same way. Mainly our buildings. That's the best of all. Because if you have a nicer building, you attract better customers to your area. Business owners say one of their biggest problems is with the parking. Some drivers just don't pay attention to the two-hour parking limit signs, so they want that rule enforced. Uh, I don't really Members of the North Scranton Business and Professional Association talked about ways to end the parking problem and improve business in Providence Square. A retired police officer turned business owner suggested bringing back a beat officer. Other beats were stripped, the square was never stripped. We always had a beat man. And I think that's what we're going to we're going to push for. He says a beat cop could enforce the parking time limit. That would free up spaces for potential customers. We're trying to promote the square somewhat through through some new signs. The members plan to get right to work on sprucing up Providence Square. They hope to make up a map of all the stores. They'll also plant trees and flowers at the square next month. April LaMonica, Newswatch 16, Scranton. A restaurant in Luzerne County is being torn down, but Newswatch 16's Bill Will uh, Bob Wilson explains why the building still has life in it despite the demolition. One push of the switch, that's how many buildings are brought to the ground. Explosives kicking out the foundation, dust and debris flying into the air. In the end, what's left is a mountain of concrete, wood and metal waiting to be hauled off to a landfill. But this is how one demolition team is knocking down the old Ponderosa restaurant in Wilkesbury Township, one piece at a time. They're going to recycle most of the building. They'll reuse the plywood of the roof, the scrap metal, the air conditioning ducts, everything including the kitchen sink, and then some. Hey, if somebody could use it, I mean, you know, why, why take it to a dump? These trusses cost about $120 new. And instead of tying up space in a landfill, workers here say they can build three new houses with these old trusses. If, you know, you have the time and you have the space to do it, well, you should do it. Period. You know, I mean, that's the thing, recycle. Contractors believe recycling old buildings is going to be the rule rather than the exception because of economics. The demolition team doesn't have to pay to dump in the landfill. Instead, they sell or reuse the materials in other buildings. As a matter of fact, the contractor says he will build a new garage with some of the recycled lumber. The rest will be sold or reused in other projects. Bob Wilson, Newswatch 16, Wilkesbury Township. Residents burned out of a personal care home in Wayne County are staying at other homes tonight. Flames wrecked the Cozy Corners personal care home in Sealyville this morning. The fire started from an electrical short between the first floor of the building and a second floor apartment. Nobody was heard, and the older people are in other care homes tonight in Wayne County. And the State Game Commission took a deer named Buckwheat away from a Susquehanna County home this afternoon. They set him free in state game lands near Halstead. The man who spent almost one year caring for the deer took these pictures. He worries that buckwheat will not make it in the wild, but wildlife officials were afraid that buckwheat might turn on people when it got older. Bob Dole hopes the third time's the charm. The story's coming up tonight on Newswatch 16 at 11. Plus, how can a city get rid of cars? And are you in the mood for baseball? Well, if not, we'll get you in the mood. But first, All Tom right. Park heads out to the backyard. Ah, it's a busy weather map tonight. Severe thunderstorms, heavy snow, blizzard conditions. Uh, find out what's going to be happening here along about Wednesday of this week. Coming up. Now, this is News Watch 16 at 11 on WNEP. We're proud to serve Bushkill and all of Pike County. Nightline, blacks have a harder time getting loans than whites do. And you can go for miles in the inner city without ever seeing a bank. Are these examples of good business practices or of racism? Tonight. 
This new medicine of leaves says it works on pain for 12 hours. 12 hours, that's pretty good. But I never had a headache last 12 hours of you. I mean, you get a headache, you take Excedrin. Does what it does and your headache's gone. So this 12 hour thing may be good, but for my headaches, 12 hours doesn't matter. Excedrin, the headache medicine. Also available aspirin free. It's back, it's bigger. It's the fourth annual Great American Ford Sales Event at your Quality Plus Ford dealer. Now get $1,000 cash back on any Ford Windstar or Aerostar in stock. Plus, all Voyager and Caravan minivan owners get an additional $750 for a total of $1,750 cash back on either the Ford Windstar or Aerostar. Hurry, this is a limited time offer. Up to $1,750 cash back. It's the best minivan deal in America, only from your Quality Plus Ford dealer. Hurry, the Great American Ford sales event ends soon. Some mowers come with a two-year warranty, but there's a spring attached. They only cover manufacturer's defects. Another is warrantied for seven years, but there's a spring attached. The engine's only covered for three. But with the new Toro Super Recycler Mower, if anything goes wrong within five years of normal use, Toro will fix it free. Our string, it's attached to a starting guarantee. Toro, when you want it done right. A heritage of community banking. NBO National Bank. Member FDIC. Know exactly when a storm will hit your community. Turn to Storm Tracker 16 on WNEP TV. The world seems to be getting more confident about the U.S. dollar. That's our first story in tonight's World in a Minute. The dollar hit a new low against the Japanese yen this morning. Investors worried about low interest rates and the U.S. trade deficit. But the dollar gained ground against the yen during the day. It also did improve against the German mark. Traffic jams in Athens, Greece, should be a thing of the past. Athens has banned most cars from the city's downtown and historic districts. The idea is to cut down on pollution. The traffic ban in Athens will be in effect for at least three months. American Indians want Scotland to give back the sacred ghost shirt. The shirt was supposed to protect an Indian from bullets. Experts believe it was worn at the Battle of Wounded Knee. Someone from Buffalo Bill's Wild West show gave the shirt to a museum in Glasgow. And in some ways, these pictures are thousands of years old. They show what is left of a star that exploded 3,000 years ago. The Hubble Space Telescope took these pictures of the supernova. And that is the world in a minute. You think about that long enough, you'll really go crazy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's, that kind of stuff boggles this. the mind. <laughs> well, hopefully the really? forecast won't boggle the mind tonight, Tom. Well, it won't. It's a pretty simple one for tomorrow. A good-looking Tuesday on the way and a pretty nice night tonight. The moon is out. Once again, a few stars visible overhead. Check out the, some of the buds getting pretty fat on our uh, Canadian cherry tree back here. That'll be in full blossom before too long. We do have some warmer temperatures coming this week and more rain. We had over a half inch in the backyard this past weekend, along with about a half inch of snow on Saturday. Now, looking at the numbers today, high temp was up to about 53 here. 82, the record high. 26 here this morning. Record still stands at 20. The full moon is on Saturday this week on the 15th. Outside now, it is, uh, well, the better part of a half moon overhead. Now temperature out 39, humidity 60%. There's no wind, and the air pressure is rising. Bud's getting fat, and the grass turning green, starting to grow. It's looking a bit like spring out here tonight. Weather watcher checking in tonight from Broadheadsville, Kim Hoffman. Says 40 degrees down there in Monroe County and mainly cloudy. On our live radar scan, there were a few showers of snow and sleet, of uh, rain and sleet this evening earlier, but they have dissipated now. Just a little reflection off some of the mountaintops. No rain or sleet or snow across the viewing area this evening. Okay, on the cloud photograph, major storms, severe thunderstorms from Iowa on down to the Gulf Coast. Some tornadoes possible. It's right in season the first major outbreak taking place tonight. Heavy snow falling from the Dakotas out toward Denver, blizzard conditions out that way. This storm heading up toward the northeast, it will have a, an effect here beginning on Wednesday of this week. But we don't see any snow here out of this one. For tomorrow morning, it's going to be a dry start. No wind, mostly clear, nice looking start. 34 degrees, up to 54 at noon tomorrow. 
Now, tomorrow's map is going to show a uh, high-pressure area. The barometer rising tonight through the morning hours tomorrow, keeping it dry here tomorrow through tomorrow night and into Wednesday morning. Rather cool, though, with a southeast wind. Then as the storm tracks on in, these fronts will approach. Wednesday, the wind will increase, showers will develop, and probably a thunderstorm as this cold front sweeps across Pennsylvania Wednesday evening. Then back into a mix of clouds and sun, scattered showers later this week. Saturday still looking dry for trout fishing at this point. Okay, for tomorrow then, high temp in Glen Lyon and Pittston and Kingston close to 60. A partly sunny day up toward uh, Kingsley, Susquehanna County, Meshoppin, some clearing. The sun will be out, a high of 56, starting out at freezing. A southeast wind over Hickory Run, Moscow tomorrow. The Poconos up to 15 miles per hour. Temperatures responding into the 50s. Broadheadsville, your high about 58 tomorrow, clearing. A nice afternoon, very nice day shaping up. Central counties tomorrow make it partly sunny, 36 to 60, out in Sunbury. Okay, looking ahead then on Wednesday, that south wind starts to increase. Temperatures responding, 62 degrees. I'm expecting some showers to develop, even a thunderstorm, as the wind will shift Wednesday night. Partly sunny on Thursday, a passing shower or two, 56, 52 on Friday, another shower, an April shower possible. And again, Saturday looking like we'll have some sunshine and uh, some pretty comfortable temperatures. Looks dry at this point. Okay. Very good. And the uh, crocus have survived the cold snap out here. Good. Yes, looking good. Hardy crocus. Thank you, Tom. Very hardy. A judge slaps the company with a multi-million dollar fine. And find out where you cannot light up now. But first, on Newswatch 16 at 11, the winning lottery numbers for today. The Daily, 421, the Big Four, 2076, and four players matched all five winning numbers in the cash five. So check your tickets. The numbers, 1, 4, 12, 21, and 29. We'll be right back. This company had announced in May that it was going to phase out all domestic operations. Town of about 17,000 population, and you take 150 people without work, that's, that's a tremendous negative impact. All of us would have been out of work. It's hard to find a job in a small town. This town needs these jobs. Jobs are scarce here. And our local Walmart manager, Jack Inman, said, let's do something about this. Let's see if something can happen. It came to my mind that Sam Walton's program of Buy America was just set up for this occasion. And he contacted Bentonville, Arkansas, and says, uh, perhaps you can do something. A line of, of gown was submitted to the buyers. Uh, they liked it, and they bought it. And these people started turning 20,000 units a week for Walmart almost overnight. I just never dreamed when I used to hear Sam talk about this program that something like that would really happen here. is a little like running a river. The ride can be exciting and sometimes fun, but the ups and downs can be a little rough. That's why it's a good idea to have someone along who can steer you through rough water. NBO National Bank can't promise you always have smooth sailing, but we can help put you on a course to reach your investment and financial goals. NBO National Bank, a heritage of community banking. You want him? We've got him. Rush Limbaugh tonight after Nightline on WNEP-TV. The maker of a drug said to remove wrinkles now faces a big fine. A federal judge fined the maker of Retin-A seven and a half million dollars. The government allows Retin-A to be sold as an acne cream, but not as a wrinkle remover. The company that makes Retin-A admits getting in the way of a government investigation into how the drug was being sold. Many smokers are fuming tonight over tough restrictions in restaurants in New York City. As of today, smoking is banned in restaurants that have more than 35 seats. Smoking is still allowed in some restaurants that have bars, and smokers can still light up in New York City bars and restaurants that have fewer 
than 35 seats. Pennsylvania is under orders tonight to get a motor voter plan on a fast track. A federal judge has given the state 10 days to come up with a plan that lets people register to vote when they apply for their driver's licenses. Under a federal law, Pennsylvania was supposed to have a motor voter law in place by January the 1st. President Clinton promises to do what he can to help working women. At the White House this afternoon, he saw the results of a government survey filled out by 250,000 women. Women want to be treated as assets to be developed in the workplace, not cost to be cut. They deserve to work in an environment that treats them with dignity, respects the value of their families, and invests in their skills and their future. This is not just the fair and decent thing to do. It is the smart thing to do for America. The president thinks that one way to help working women is to raise the minimum wage to $5.15 an hour. Another man who wants to challenge Bill Clinton in 1996 is now in the race. Senate Majority Leader Bob Dole announced he will run for the Republican presidential nomination. ABC's Andy Field has more. Of course, I'm not the first candidate to say there's no place like home. <laughs> Senator Bob Dole has been a national leader so long, many people outside his home state may not know he's from Kansas. He came home to thank the people who gave him money to help recover from crippling war wounds 50 years ago. He says his combat and political experience will make him the best presidential candidate. I have been tested and tested and tested in many, many ways. I am not afraid to lead. The Republican Senate leader says he'll lead the country away from wasteful spending. He plans to wipe out the housing, energy, education, and commerce departments, and give all that money back to the states and poor Americans to spend themselves. Let's close down the education department and spend the money on our children, not on the bureaucrats and red tape. Dole has been on this podium twice before. He ran and lost as Gerald Ford's running mate the year Jimmy Carter became president. And now he has a lot of competition. Texas Senator Phil Graham, right. former Education Hello. Secretary Lamar Hello. Alexander, Pennsylvania Senator Arlen Specter, and maybe even former Joint Chiefs Chairman Colin Powell. Dole didn't mention any of them today. He is concentrating on putting President Bill Clinton out of a job. We need a president who will say yes to the American people. And that is the kind of president I intend to be. Andy Field for ABC News, Washington. If you wanted to get to the home opener tonight but thought it was a bit too chilly, don't worry. When we come back, get all the sights and sounds of the ball game. And later, hippity-hoppity, Easter's on its way. Anytime, anywhere you see news happening, call our news tip hotline at 1-800-533-NEWS or star 1616 on your wireless one network or United States cellular phone. Hey, weed warriors, this stuff takes two to four weeks to kill weeds. That's a month. Spectracide's grass and weed killer works in just 24 hours. Quick and painless. Except I'm lying on my keys. Weeds can't hide from Spectracide. Bank introduces an idea that's sure to push your hot button. Come in while the switch is on, and we'll turn you on to a great rate on a loan or a CD. Then we'll give you some buttons of your own to push on gifts like a TV, VCR, camcorder, personal CD player, or one of dozens of other extras. So get something extra with a CD or a loan when you switch to PNC Bank. Dear car owners, Midas is pleased to announce the Midas Wheel Deal. We're offering outstanding values on Midas guaranteed shocks and struts to keep your car running safe and straight. Come in for a Midas Wheel Deal special today. Right now, during the Midas Wheel Deal, you can get 50% off the regular price of a second shock or strut. And they're guaranteed for as long as you own your car. The Midas Way. The way it should be. The 4077th is lectured on population control. 
tomorrow on WNEP. Baseball is back for another season at Lackawanna County Stadium. As you saw here on Channel 16 tonight, the Red Barons played their home opener. Newswatch 16 photographer Frank Diam has some sights and sounds from the stadium. Thank you, sir. Enjoy it. Right. How are we doing tonight? Oh, just fine and dandy. It's about time Thank we get you. back to baseball. We're really excited to be here and uh, catch the Barons again. We, we had a great time last year, and uh, uh, this is really going to be a lot of fun. Welcome to opening day. Battles and our both times. Take on your script and Wilkes Barry Rock Oh, I just love it. I couldn't wait to get here. It's a beautiful stadium, and the people in this valley should be very proud of it. I like them better in the major leagues. I mean, they don't go on strike. You know? They keep on playing all year round. Come on, Sean! Well, there have been some, there's been some good players here over the years, uh, and a lot of guys have moved up, and we've enjoyed watching them. We're really enjoying it, boy. <laughs> it was a night for the truly hardy baseball fan, right, Tom? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. A little cool, but uh, we got to see a very good baseball game. Pitching-wise, anyway, the Red Barons uh, pitching staff really looked good. Tim Carlson and Jim Coles calling tonight's action. Tim and Jim with the hits and highlights from the Red Barons' home opener. Well, Jim, I, I really am I'm impressed with how many people are here tonight to see this ball game. It's not the coldest opener we've had, that's for sure. He saw them off there. Looks like it's going to be caught by the center fielder, Sean Gilbert. That looks like it's going to drop in for a base hit. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, look at that great catch there by Chris, Chris Jones. Jones. Dennis Springer, perfect, through five. There's, There's a base, base hit. hit. How about that? There goes the no-hitter in the perfect game in the sixth inning. Ground ball to second base. They're going to come home. Here comes Beezer, and he's at the plate. I had to wait to see what the call was going to be. He yeah. touched the plate. He touched the plate, and that's what Mike is saying. Rob Grable up now with two outs and a runner at first. Oh, look at this baby. That might be out of here. And it is. Oh, Two-run home run to right field from Rob Grable, and it's 3-1 to one Red Barons and lightning strikes. We might be down to our last pitch. Two balls, two strikes, two out. Red Barons leading 4-1 here in the ninth inning. And it's over. Jeff Innes does his job, picks up the save. Red Barons win it 4-1 to one over the Norfolk Times. The two teams meet again tomorrow. Jim Deshaies will uh, start for the Red Barons. Game time is 4 o'clock. Jim Deshaies. Boston Celtics beginning to put some room between themselves and the other teams fighting for the uh, East's final playoff position. Celtics taking a five-game win streak into Charlotte. Hornets uh, clinch their playoff spot out to the Beehive we go. And D. Brown with the Circus Circus Act, a left-handed shot off the glass, two of his 20 points. This game tied in the third quarter. Alonzo Morning and company take over. Alonzo with some power basketball, throws it down. He led the uh, all-scores with 25. Charlotte, seven players in double figures, including 